first significant job and how do you think it brought you to where you are tonight? I started practicing law. That was my first job as a lawyer at a large law firm. And then I transitioned to owning a business. So I used to own a restaurant uh, that was located a couple blocks away from here. So I was a small business owner. I really understand what it's like to own a small business in New York City. Oh, nice. Yes, definitely. The restaurant industry is pretty tough. <laughs> It can be, it can be, it can be. And now in my new role as Commissioner of the Department of Consumer Affairs, we're very focused on reducing fines on small businesses. So under the mayor's leadership, we're really reaching out to businesses throughout New York City to make sure that they know that the Department of Consumer Affairs is focused on reduction of fines. So we're projecting that we're going to reduce our fines by $5 million in the upcoming fiscal year. And we're also doing a lot in terms of outreach. So we're doing inspections now in language of choice for the first time time ever and for the first time we have all of our inspector checklists in every category online so they're easy to access and, and absolutely transparent. How do you believe tonight's event will help future women and minority business owners? It's so important to do events like this. As a former woman business owner, I know the challenges that that can present. To have an event like this that basically gives awards to the recipients and also is a networking opportunity to really increase access in terms of MWBEs. It's so important. So I'm thrilled to be here to inaugurate this first event. Oh, I definitely agree. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you so much.